in this video we will see how we can extract the text out of an audio file and then identify the language of it so this press entire process will be done in two phases in first phase we will read the audio file and extract the text out of it and that we are doing using speech api and second part is to identify the language to detect the language in which the audio was recorded so that we are doing using azure text analytics so let's get started i'm on my visual studio and this is the empty console application which i have created using dotnet core so the very first thing what we need to do is we need to add the required references so for that i am pulling in some packages using nuget package manager and the first one is microsoft cognitive services dot speech so we need to search for this and get it installed accept okay so it is done we can go ahead and add these references here so the first one is for speech and the second one is for audio okay so this part is done next thing is we need to create two method one for extracting the text and second one is for detecting the language so let's go ahead and create a function which will return string and i will give its name as extract text from audio so let's quickly create it okay and the next thing is here for detection also we can create one but let's go ahead and implement this one first so here i want it to be async and it would return string okay so we are good here the very first thing which we need is we need to extract the we need to create the speech configuration object so for that i will quickly create a variable speech config and speech config using subscription so from subscription which will take two parameters key and the region so as of now let's hard code it i will tell you in a while what these two fields are next thing is we need an variable which will hold the audio configuration so for that we have audio config dot we are reading web file so from web file input and here we need to paste the path so this is the one thing next thing we need is uh, we need to create the configuration object for language so for that we have auto detect source language config and here we need to supply what all languages we need to identify or what are the potential languages you are expecting so let's say i'm having these three languages english hindi and japanese next thing i will be creating a recognizer object it's the same thing which i have done in my previous video also so speech recognizer uh, which will take three parameters language config and audio so all the three configuration it will take as an input now we just need to invoke it where result equals it would be an async method so let's call recognizer dot recognize once async because we are reading a web file so it would be just this method once it is done we need to dispose our resources so either you can put it in using block or you can call it the way i'm doing it here whatever works for you both are good and here we will return sorry return result dot 
text. So this will hold the text for us. Now one part is the next thing is we need to create another method for detection. So for that we can create a new method with the name detect language and let's give input uh, let's give this text as its input and extract it okay so here we need to write our code the very first thing is like i said we need to use text analytics here so i will quickly go ahead and pull in the required packages And here we need Azure.ai.TextAnalytics. So this is the one which we need to pull in. Click on install and it will take few seconds. Now, first thing which we need to do is we need to create an Azure key credential object. So for that, I will name it as credential equals new and this will take parameter as a key which we will generate it shortly and here we need to add references so I will go ahead and add two references first one is Azure because using that only we are going to fetch the key credentials and another one is azure.ai.textanalytics so these two are the required packages we need and next is uh, now we got the key here we need to get our endpoint which is using the URI class and here we will supply our endpoint so we will pull it from Azure portal in a while next we need to create is the client object that is using text analytics client and it will take two parameters endpoint and credential so azure key credential so once this is done we are good to go detected language we can create As a variable and we will make a call here using our client object detect language and just pass in the text whatever we are getting from our previous step and either you can return it or you can get it printed over here so I will better print it here language detect it is and here we can say detected language dot name and let's keep it here until here okay so we are almost done the only thing which is remaining is our azure portals work so let's quickly go to azure portal and here the first thing which we need is we need to create an instance of speech services so you can search for speech services click on create and here you need to furnish all the required details the resource group if you would like to create new one you can go ahead otherwise you can also pull in the existing one and the region which is very close to you here you need to provide the unique name for your speech service instance and pricing tier free or standard so whatever works best for you you can select it click on review plus create doing this will create a instance of speech service which would look something like this so here we can use this to grab our details so first detail which we need from is the key so let's copy this one and replace this then we need region which is west us for me so i will quickly go ahead and replace this and then we need the file path which i will pull in shortly apart from that we also need the key and the endpoint for our text analytics resource so for text analytics 
go to your azure portal home page and search for either you can directly search for cognitive services or you can search for text language so once you click on create you will get all these features which you can use it once you are whenever you are creating the instance so click on continue and here again you need to populate all these basic details so once these details are populated you will get a instance created in a similar fashion so here you can grab the key uh, and place it over here similarly we need an endpoint so here is the endpoint i will paste it over here so the only thing remaining is the file path so let me quickly pull in okay so we are almost done meanwhile i will show you what i have in my file so that so let me open it so this is the sample file which i am trying to read but what if somebody decides to break it? Be careful that you keep adequate coverage, but look for places to save money. Maybe it's taking longer to get... So you can see that this is English language. So let's go ahead and quickly run our application. Probably I can put a breakpoint here. Because we didn't put console dot this will take few seconds to extract the text from the web file and detect the language okay so you can see that it has detected the language as an english now let's try out with one more file and this time i can give some another file which is in hindi i will i need to grab this name okay first you can listen to this इसके बाद हम एक ऐसे खिलाड़ी के बारे में बात करेंगे जिससे इस वर्ल्ड कप में भारतीय फैंस को काफी उम्मीदें रहेंगी इसके सो दिस इज द लैंग्वेज एंड let's try out so i have replaced the file name and we'll see whether it detects or not just give it few seconds okay so it's done and you can see that it has successfully de detected the languages in hindi so this is how we can detect so whatever the language what are the possibilities you are having in your mind you can just place it over here and it will figure out that which language that audio clip belongs to hope you enjoyed today's video and keep watching